Alright, let's do a baby up here real quick, guys. They're starting to get big. Stick. They think they can jump out of the box whenever they want, get back in the box whenever they want. Especially this one right here. And that little red one under the feeder, they think they're something. And with this temperature, when we have pretty weather like this, it don't matter if they're in the box or not. But they're good. But I do like them in the box. <laughs> but they don't like staying in there. I think that's for losers. Hey, Lily. Look at this bunch of lazy bums. Mm -mm -mm. Lazy bums. These will all be Easter babies. <laughs> oh, man. Poor this little rabbit. No. But it's so funny compared to these. These are out everywhere. They want to run. They want to be with their mama. That one already jumped out. Mama moves. There's one already out behind. Behind the mom over there. And this one here, lazy, don't want to do nothing, don't want to move, just leave them alone. Mm -mm -mm. All right, these over here, they're a mixture of both. They're lazy and good for nothing. A lot of blacks in this one, which I gave some of Lily's blacks over here, but still, she has four blacks. No blacks than I want. <laughs> But a little pretty blue, and then another blue mini rex, and then this mini rex here that's a weird color. Not a weird color, just a brown, but it's just a pretty brown. It's blue that's real pretty. But I'll right. make sure I put this. That seems to be all the way. All right, these babies here are getting big. They're almost four weeks. Give, take three or four days. And they're doing good. Four mini wrecks and two, um, uh, New Zealand Reds. All righty, and we have flag, moved her over here from the, that other pen where I can mess with her babies better. They're eating, doing good. They're about the same, about three and a half weeks old. Some of them are looking really good. Uh, there's that, careful boy, careful, careful, careful. There's that feeder I was talking about. They work out good. I got them on sale at the dog, at Walmart. They're dog feeders, but they just clip on like the waters do. This is more curious. They just want to be curious. All right. Um, I moved uh, everybody around, but uh, Thessalina was right here. I moved her down here. I had to put Moon down. She got sick and not in a, like a hacking way, just got brought down. And I had been worried about that for a little bit. She was just never... Never a good quality rabbit. She had good quality babies, but herself, she was always lacking. So I had to put her down. She got sick. But um, there's these. <laughs> I think the best black and white is this try right here, and the best blue and white would be that one or that one. They're pretty close to being the same. Then two nice Harleys, the dark Harleys. I like that. I like that nice dark Harley. All righty. Now these here, because of the temperature, I just went and dumped the nest box and took the nest box out. It is not cold. But they think they are God's gift to everybody. Here's, uh, it has been a long day. I've been painting all day. I do not like painting. But checkers. That's checkers. <laughs> yeah, all that was trying to remember her name. That's pretty sad, guys. <laughs> Quit checkers, I want to see the babies, not you. Prettiest ones to me, besides my one I'm keeping. Look at these guys. 
a Harley, a broken Harley, out of a New Zealand mom. <laughs> if you'd get back a little bit, I could take a picture of you. I have a New Zealand mom and a large mini Rex dad. So they're going to be a meat type rabbit. But look how beautiful. I have three of those. And then, of course, the one that I'm the most excited about. I don't know if it's a boy or girl yet. So, <laughs> of course, it'd be the wild one. <laughs> That's just my luck. <laughs> it'll be that one right there. <laughs> That's the one. It's staying on the property, no matter what it is. It has good color. But uh, here's Ch uh, Rachel. Probably be getting rid of her after this litter. She's been a great mama, but I'm keeping her sister, and I'm keeping these replacement does, and so I just don't need her no more. She had a good litter of nine, actually 11, and I fostered two over, but she has one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, eight left. One died, and it was weird. I found it like three days ago. It was start, already starting to smell, and she had buried it in the corner, and it was like this size. It was the weirdest thing. I don't know what happened. It was a Harley. It was already matted up, uh, maggots up and everything. I was like, wow. So you got to count your babies, but I just counted them, but I just skimmed the top of them. But they're out now, and they're doing good, and uh, they'd still be a little small. It's like the rest of y'all. It's not that cold, and what I mean cold for baby rabbits, if it got below 30 at night, you wouldn't want them out without a nest box yet. But if it's going to be above 30, you're fine. Big girl's getting big. And I think that's it on the baby front. I sold all the last group of uh, dwarf cross. I haven't sold the mamas yet, but they're for sale. But since I brought them back to that line head, I'm kind of wanting to see what they have with them too. And so I'm dragging my feet on selling them. But if the people come for them, they'll get them. And then here's the two mini Rex does I'm keeping and you can't see them because of the two black and white tries. But I'll let y'all go. Talk to y'all later.